that's cool. So this is a 64 car. Yeah. Now, what's the story with this? I see it's fiberglass. Well, I mean, this was just a, a regular uh, 64 Savoy. Yeah. And uh, Al Ferris bought this car new. Really? And, and he uh, actually drove it on the street and would take it to Cordova and race it. Yeah. You know, it was a four-speed car and it, it, it had the 383 in it. It wasn't him. Yeah. Like I didn't know Al, but I knew of him. They called him dumb. <laughs> I think dumb. It was dumb. Yeah, Al was dumb. <laughs> but uh, Al got married and his wife uh, didn't like the car because it was four speed and she went to four door car. Oh, yeah. So Al had Jack get him a new car and, and I was talking to uh, Jack and I told him I wanted a car to drive on the street. And I said, Yeah, I want a four speed car. And that. he said, Hey, why don't you just buy Al's? I said, why is he selling it? And I said, yeah, what's he want? You know, it was a year old. And, yeah, okay, wow. And I said, well, what, what's he want? He said, I don't know. Uh, this is Al Ferris. So, it still had the warranty in it. They only had 8,000 miles on it. And I bought it from him. And uh, I've had it ever since. I'll be dang. So, I, I drove this on the street. I actually towed with it. Uh, you know, and yeah. Uh, took my wife to the hospital when the Did first baby was born in this car. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, Is that John? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So this, this, I sold all the race cars, but nobody wanted this thing. So we just kept it, and it's, it's been in, built and rebuilt over the years. So. Now you're doing a four link. Yeah. yeah. I've taken the, the red roof out and uh, kind of redoing it. We put the fiberglass doors on it and took the steel. Now, where'd you find those? Uh, actually, I'll just trade you. Yeah. So I took the, the no good joke. doors off of this just to get those glass doors. So how long have you been working on the four link? Oh. Actually, I started last fall oh, shit. putting that in there, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, it's pretty well laid out and everything. I know yeah. what I got to do. I just haven't finished it yet. Yeah, I understand. Now, what do you got? What's this up here? That was the original place where the pinion bumper hit. Right. So that's built into the roll cage and everything. I so see. It's real strong kind of in the way now so the last time I was here I saw these wheels yeah those yeah. are the original ones off of that 64 car and those are 64 tires and magnesium wheels right yeah they've never been off those rims that's something that is nuts those are museum pieces. They're not even hard. Well, they're cracked a little, but not much. Yeah, they, they've held up pretty well because they've been inside all the years. All right. the, the moisture got to that magnesium, and we just kind of let it go. We didn't. Yeah, what are you going to do? Well, you guys had a good alignment on it. It looks like the tread's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, uh -huh. The car didn't have a lot of miles. <laughs> yeah, I suppose not. <laughs> <laughs> been on the drag strip a lot. It's a, that's about it. Now, the sick the car's gone though, right? It's not this one. Oh here. yeah, yeah. That's it right that's there. It right there, yeah. That's your '64 car. That's, yeah. That's. Uh, we'll have to look at that after a while, uh, maybe. That car came from Elgin, Illinois, and uh, so it's always been an Illinois drag race car. This one gonna see some track time. Who knows? Who? Yeah. Who? Who knows? Who knows? It's cool. Now you said the post cars were the Savoys were were they lighter than the hard tops? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, they're considerably lighter. Is it because they well, didn't they, need the strength? They put extra bracing in those hard top cars that they didn't have to in these because yeah. of the roof line. Yeah. That'd be darn. So, I often wondered. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see just 
the little bit of support sure. they needed for these over the other one. It, that had to be briefed up. Now, what do you think this will weigh when it's ready to go? Well, it's not going to be super light. It, you know, if I get it down to 2,800 pounds, I'm happy. Yeah. Of course, that wheel well's larger. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at this car back here, it's well on the bottom here. You can put big tires for that. You put great big tires on there. This car here, it just had a little bit of hammer work here and there. Oh, yeah. To make it bigger, and that's it. Would they have brought the front out here, you suppose, you guys? Well, fill down here, and you can feel where they've been it in. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. That's That was normal. That's what we did. We just took the wheel off, and most of us used a sledgehammer and just <laughs> weld it in the, and that's in a, that wheel pit. That's an old tire, for and, sure. And then up here, you roll that Oh, lip, yeah. You roll the lip Yeah, in. I feel it all the way around where that one up there you can see it's on you cut it all the way off yeah the lip is totally past the bone yeah that has a uh a wire plate in there ouch and, and then that's rolled around give it some strength an eight inch wire oh really so that's how you stiffen it up i'll be damned you rolled it around that wire. Right. Huh. Yeah, well, I Pair mean, obviously you used a torch, but right. you just rolled it and rolled it. This is where you moved everything. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a, a different frame. Right. You just cut the whole back half of this car off and did it. But that's your original mount there. Yeah. And this had a... The gas tank that was in here had a big plate and just lifted out. So it just has an aluminum plate that settles back in there. You have a rear speaker back in the day? You listen to the radio? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe back in 62. A long time ago, yeah. Yeah, they don't make these this sheet metal. I've got a couple of lower quarters, but they quit making it a couple of years ago. This car, amazingly, didn't rust. And, and it, I, we drove it uh, in 60, well, let's see. Al drove it in the winter of 64. Yeah. And, and then I got it in the, the fall of 64. Lee Smith and I went to Savannah and got this you car. You did? <laughs> yeah. He was moved, Jack was, he was on Main Street by then, wasn't he? You remember uh, uh, by the firehouse? Uh, uh, oh, he's on the east side. He, he was down there by the the bridge. Yeah. I don't know when they moved. That place is still there. The, it, first the building place. is still yeah. there. Yeah. I, so I went by there and, and I couldn't. I mean, this is five years ago, but I went by and it, you know, it's so much different looking. Yeah. And I thought that has to be where the dealership was. Yeah. East Savannah Welding is what it was for years. Jim, he died. Yeah. Wasn't Good, a very nice guy. There were four guys though moved in there. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah. I'll give you a hand. Yeah, this, the spender it needs straightening. This that's is all it, aluminum. That's all aluminum. It needs straightening. It hurts it some damage. But, uh, just, <clears throat> Has it got a motor in it now? Yeah. Yeah. Take it right to the track, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, a little dirty. Oh, that's Lexan, I guess, huh? It uh, actually isn't Lexan. It's got a uh, corny back window. But these were actually fiber, uh, just regular old plexiglass. Huh. 
they're kind of tinted. Yeah, are they? Yeah, but they, you know, they're all original. Yeah. Is this how, that's how you race it right there. Yeah. That is so cool. There's that Oswego. Oh well, yeah, where he won. Yeah. That was probably on a trophy. Right they, they at the bottom. They put on the trophy and he mm -hmm. it off, unless they just gave him one and he, he glued that on the dash. You didn't get very much wear on those pedals, Larry. No. <laughs> those are pretty good shape. Wow. No idea, you guys. I mean, that it actually left somewhat of an interior in there, you know? Yeah, well, th this is the way it would have come, right here. Yeah. Now, was this, this was a 990? Well, what they it, call it, this? This is a, what is that? An, eight, an 890. 890? 896 or something. Okay. You know, it, it's not a 990. That's a 65 car. It, uh, oh, okay. It, it had some damage up here in... Uh, there's a guy out of town here. He we fixed this. I floor. see that. It looks and like this, a... this is some of his primer he puts on there. So now when you sand it, you can see the low you spots. You can see the low yeah. spots, but it's black. Uh huh. And it's kind of his trademark how he does it. So in other words, I wanted him to get the big dent out for the shit fell on it. So really, the whole thing was dinged up, huh? Did yeah, you get it, it back that it, the way? The worst hit was that way. Yeah. The, when a windstorm hit the garage, and uh, that was yeah. one of the beams inside came down and hit this car. That sucks. Hmm. Mm, this uh, this is where it said little deputy. That's why that that paint job looks kind of. Oh, I down see. There. It, that paint. I sanded it off. And it oh, I see, yeah. Setting it up, you know. <laughs> they don't like paint. So you just said that's like the one that Petty won, ran when he right. won. Right, yeah. So it's it's cut open inside. I see. And they built that intake like that so they could run those old three-barrel carburetors oh. on these cars, too. Huh. Holly made a three-barrel carburetor that flowed more than their 780. Oh, really? The, the carburetor, actually, that's not the right one. You got cross uh, ram up there? Up there on that wall is one of those. They had to, are you familiar with the Le Mans float bowl? No. Okay, well, that, that's, that was the big thing. It was a pre reaction to those center pivot floats. I see, and yeah. They, they called them Le Mans because Ford and Holly went together and built that for the mines. Oh, did they? Bracing. In the 60s, yeah. Yeah. So the, the, the braces are cut out. They right. just whacked them off at the factory. Yeah. And that's that hole you're talking about. What had the cross ram like that thing? Okay, so this is off of the 64 and the 65 car. And they, they just staple these things right. there. And you can see that it went up like this. So your incoming air Now, wait a minute, let's see. Now, it, 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 it kind of, you know, the cross frame, it kind of sets off. So when you're putting your hood down on there, it's right. set there like right. this. Well, it, it needed that extra little bit of give because this is coming up too high. Sure. So when they, when they made the things, they made the aluminum, this hole right here. So it just fit, you know, it was like steel on steel mm -hmm. and, and oh, yeah. you couldn't put the hood down. I mean, the hood was actually floating up because it was hitting this. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, shit, what's the matter with them guys? They need a bigger hole. So we just cut the bigger hole, it, you know, made it like and this. That. So that, that's the way my uh, car was. But uh, like I said, you'll see them all, all kinds, kinds of, stuff, of different yeah. ways, and, and a lot of guys did copy uh, that. Well, yeah, I, in, in a lot I, of, I don't look at when I see it. This is not unfamiliar to me to see this setup with that rubber, but I don't. I never looked at it very closely, you know. 
Yeah, I, I, that was just one of the. Uh, and if you can find some original pictures of the, of what it looked like and everything, but they got cut up immediately. Yeah. So oh it, yeah. It, it's like today, nobody hardly even knows. And uh, when we did that '68 car book, uh, we tried to put things in there like that, you know, to explain to people that, okay, you want to make this thing dead perfect. There's no such thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends who you it, are. I mean, you know, if guys say they came with magnesium intakes. No, they didn't. Really? They came with aluminum intakes, yeah. like the 64 car had. They didn't have. But what did I run? I ran the 65 intake because it's 10 pounds lighter. Yeah. So, you know, it's, they look the same. Saw uh, before. Right, and you, those little dipples in there you saw, yeah, yeah. they're made to go. I see. see those nuts are to got room to clear. Do you have a cross ram for this? Yes. Yeah. If you look up there on that wall, it's on top of it. Oh, I, see, I think I see it up there. So this is the original red paint this car came in right here, I right. imagine. Yeah. If you look down here, right there. Yeah. You know oh, what that the is? factory stampings for something. Yeah. That's actually, they stamped underneath this hood of this thing that everything was correct. But look, he, he missed. Yeah, I see. And then so he went back he and stamped it, it yeah. again. So, I mean, that, uh, that's the cool stuff it's yeah. even got a fender tag I have to yeah. look at that no shroud just a simple rad like my satellite has right. yeah. the fan on these cars they had four rivets and the aluminum blades now these, these cars came with steel brackets they didn't have the aluminum bracket until 65 although they just is aluminum right here yeah and they didn't have the aluminum water pump until they were built and then they put the aluminum water pump oh, housing on it really so when they came the the water pump would have been clear aluminum well okay i follow you and they switched carburetors on these cars so the brackets the uh, spacer plate on the cross ram mm -hmm. isn't painted. Really? Now here's the real kicker. Look at those. Can you see where the hood hinges are? Sure. Go? It's not painted. No. So it was painted with the hood hinges on. The car was built with hood hinges. They yeah. took them off and put hood pins. But nobody liked the hood pins and everybody took them off immediately because they used wing nuts on top. Mm-hmm too hard to get it off yeah or it takes so time they put these on these little bullet things i'll we'll walk around the other side here like mr uh, gasket would have used oh, look at they even got this is on there still what's that to use mopar and yeah <laughs> It's probably got a. I put I put one back on my in car. In '64, my car had that little pocket over here. Sure. That, with that warranty card, but they didn't give you any warranty in this one. So <laughs> you didn't get no damn warranty card. You know, I never. Uh, mine doesn't have that. I know, right? I know who bought it too. There's what I need to do is single pot. You see this right here? It's falling apart. Yeah. You this know what black that was? New. So you could set the. The hood on, on the, the roof on the roof without scratching it. it would scratch I mean, it today wouldn't it yeah, it's, <laughs> it's falling a little... apart today and then what's this ignition box you got here that was the tachometer oh, of the day the sun so that had to have little batteries in it really it had two little nicad style of a, a battery and they lasted a long time i i think i took these out in the of course, that, that didn't come from the factory. That, right. That was an added that was tack you on guys. So guys could use different style of tacks. Now, what's with your, you got step tubes on your headers, or it looks like they slid together or something once. Well, those pipes, mm -hmm. that's a cast iron piece and, and a pipe that slid into it. And it's I see. 
Wow. That uh, ground cable back there. Mm hmm I saw it's big. It actually had another one. You see, oh. you see over there? Over there? Yeah. Yeah, you see where it? it should be, yeah. That's where it should be. Right. I, I've, someplace I've got the cable, but when we got the car, it only had the one on huh. it. And, and this, you know, guys just figured, shit, you don't need two of those. Right. But this thing has two cables running all the way up like a max wedge. If you look down there on that cable, see coming from the trunk, you see two cables? I do. Hmm. <clears throat> and uh, that was left over from the max wedge. Really? And when they built the 65 cars, it's only got one cable that comes up. Just ran it through the... Yeah, yeah, just, whatever was there. Real grommet right there, yep. Yep, I recognize a lot of stuff under this hood. When's the last time it ran? Oh, probably last year. Yeah. The hand was bad and I haven't started since. Now this has got all the, that's a lightweight bumper on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. And then the the deleted headlight. Yeah. Why'd they do that? Just weight saving. Weight saving. Yeah. yeah. Just took that out and they just here's your original grill right here. All right. And, and it's a filler. They just cut a piece out of another grill stuck and it stuck there. it in here. Yeah. It's nothing fancy, is it? No, uh uh. It's, you never notice. It, it's actually operated, if you can see. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't see it. I see that one up, up there. It, there's a screw oh, there. Is it? But, oh, there's, oh, there they there, are, yeah. yeah. So down here is probably. Yeah, and that's yeah. the way the thing came, right yeah. there. Right, yeah. It's their 1964 pop rivets. <laughs> yeah. That, that uh, bumper's in great shape. Well, it's like most of them. The, Get dinged up a they, little. They get, if guys put a bumper jack on that thing, they oh, ruined them. Yeah. I, would. Uh, I mean, that, that was not made to put a bumper jack on. Now, this is, uh, this is, the scoop's also aluminum? Yeah. Yeah. In 65, they went to steel, did they? Steel yeah, front end? Lightweight steel. Right. Yeah. It, it was, uh, actually, they acid dipped those hoods. Oh, yeah, I suppose. And, and the front fenders were acid dipped and the doors were acid dipped. And most people think they were like steel, but they actually dipped them. They were, they were pretty proud of that acid dipping, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, the was big into them, too. Were they? Yeah. Get a look at the quarters. <laughs> like most cars, they become a workbench, don't yeah, they? It, this car set too close to this way when you're, <laughs> when you're doing stuff. I understand. Shit, yeah. I got two bags of cat food sitting on one at home. <laughs> That's cool. So it looks like there's a, does the trunk have a, does it have a hinges still? No. No, it, yeah. it's the key. Oh, oh yeah, it's got hinges. It's still yeah, just, it's just, just a regular deal. Yeah, it's just a regular deal. Back here, we never changed much on these. Yeah. No, we just left the cool and even on the, the later cars i i've always used hinges on the trunk lid i've i never had them lift off trunk lids right. like everybody i just had the hinges well, they're and, a pain yeah you just flip the thing up when you needed to get in it and you know there you go and use the key mm -hmm. to, uh, yeah i understand if, if you look at some of the old cars like socks and martin and all that i was trying to Explain that to a guy one day. And I says, well, if, if you look at modern day cars, they always um, shut the battery off, you know. They got the battery kill thing in the back. Yeah. Well, NHRA and that, you know, and it's, and you gotta put on it, they have to push off. Yeah. And uh, for a while, they just used that. Well, in 68, we didn't have that shit. What we had was a key in the trunk yeah. all the time. Socks and Martin and theirs, they had fishing line. <laughs> and, it, and it was like pop riveted to the shutoff. So if you, you know, took the key out, 
And that was basically yeah. to keep people from running off with the key. But it was always in the trunk. Well, the reason it's always in the trunk, you unlock the trunk, flipped it up, and then you could reach down and take the cable off with one hand because it, it was just tight enough that when you push it in that lid and twisted it, it was good. Mm -hmm. But you could grab it off. And, and that's what we ran. Oh, me dang. You know, mo most people don't think we had shit like that, but yeah, we did. Yeah. We, we had quick shutoffs. <laughs> this is a little quicker this way, isn't it? Yeah, that, but, that's, a, that's your... Uh, that is the trunk latch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, hey, are these, these look like old hemi heads over here, maybe. Yeah, those are the 354. The, surprisingly, the 354 are the best heads. What are they? The 392 heads were thinner cast, and you couldn't port them as big. It, for one thing, and, and the, the uh, other than that, the valve size and everything was pretty much the same. So yeah. the, the guys that were back in the day, they preferred the, the 354 heads because they, you know, for the fuel dragsters, they needed to get those exhaust ports as big as they could. Is that the intake for one, or is that? that that's just the regular 440. Okay. Intake. Hmm. Get all the head, the, every, all the everything for those, or are they just? I, well, I've got all the the valves and springs. Mm -hmm. and, and what's this motor you got sitting here? That, that's just a regular old 440. I see. Uh, nothing special. It's out yeah. of an Imperial. Okay, yeah. yeah. I. It, it's all there. I'm just gonna put that cross ring, the long ring on it. On that three, on this one here, yeah, on can you one. run the three fifty fours on a three ninety two? Yeah, you can. That's yeah. why it's there. Yeah, I saw that. That's a Milan's carburetor, like they used in the sixty four. This they, one here. Yeah. Okay. It's right there with that, that thing on. Yeah, yeah. High. yeah that, that would have been. You're having these made, but you you sell them then, I guess, huh? Yeah. Well, and these are Dane Opinion snubbers. I, I have a shop that works right here. Right here is the Where do you... Uh, this is the, the guy that uh, stamps those things. That's heavy. Yeah, I'll bet. Thousand ton press does that then. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, it knocks them out like that, and they look like this. Yeah. And then I, I, cut I cut that out and then put the three holes in it and then put the little sure. notches uh, yeah. in here to put the rubber stub so cool. on. But that's that's where the... And where do you sell them on? What's your thing? Well... To guys or... I just sell them to Strange and they sell them. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Strange sells them to Summit and, and all of that. So well, that's like... <clears throat> this... So I, I, I don't... I don't fool your with... Your name's not on there. No. Oh, that's cool. No, I don't. I had no idea. So how, you got to knock a bunch out at once, then I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Right. I, I take them out. They usually they punch out like a hundred at a time. Or yeah. Because like we only uh, sell you know a little over a hundred or so a year. Well, oh, geez, that's pretty. That's a lot more than I thought. Well, hundred. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think. How many Dana rear ends are? You guys are racing that, and all and, that. But strange, <clears throat> they sell Danas, so, you know, they put them over. I sent one to Mosier, and uh, they elected to, you know, just not even to... Say no, huh? Well, they didn't say no or goodbye or anything interesting. Or nothing. my they, ass. They or, had yeah. that Chinese piece of shit made that they put on theirs. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Mm -hmm. It's god awful looking. It's just a flat, stamped out thing with a bumper on it. Oh, really? Looks like shit, you know. Well, if you're going to do a Chrysler, you want it to look like the yeah, original Yeah, I agree, 100%. Well, that's cool.